So Higher Level Maths Paper 2 is an excellent examination of students' abilities and a great companion paper to Friday's Paper 1. There are questions at all levels on this exam. If you take, for example, question 4, this had a straightforward construction and proof of a theorem that many students will have answered extremely well, if not perfectly correctly, and get full marks, hopefully. And that goes from the basic questions up to some of the more difficult questions, such as question nine, a novel scenario or diagram based on coordinate geometry of the line and the circle, which would have required students to have given good thought to. The exam opens with the concepts and skills section as always, and many questions here students would have been familiar with and therefore quite comfortable. However, some of the questions may have contained parts that students found awkward. For example, the sets in question two, and also the ambiguous case that the sign rule throws up uh, was in question 3C. In the context and applications uh, section of the exam, this of course is an area of the exam that many students would have been concerned about because the questions can be difficult, but it opened with quite a comfortable probability and statistics question that students should have been able to answer well. Some of those questions, uh, they ended up rewarding students who would needed to have been brave to have taken the first step or two on the path to a solution. For example, the trigonometry question uh, 10, where the text introducing the question may have been off-putting, but actually if students just engaged with the question, they may have found the execution to be quite reasonable. So overall, as we said, a great paper, a great examination of students' level, complimented paper one nicely and to all of you who sat the exam today and on Friday I say congratulations higher level maths is a challenge it's a difficult subject well done to all of you for getting through it